Hi there. So today I'm going to be making um, a keto strawberry cake. Um, so growing up, uh, we always used to uh, make box cakes um, for our birthday every year. And pretty much every year I always asked for a strawberry cake. Um, it was just the plain, you know, strawberry cake, strawberry frosting that comes in like the box mixes and things like that. Not keto. <laughs> so, um, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I am a big fan of the Birchbenders um, cake mixes. I still haven't done a video reviewing um, both different kinds with the different mix and match frosting, so keep an eye out for that video because I'm going to be doing one um, sometime in the near future. But anyways, so um, this one and then also the Swerve Sweets um, has really good keto-friendly um, cake mixes. So but they only have the classic yellow flavor or the chocolate. Um, and so I really wanted to be able to do continue my strawberry cake tradition for my birthday. And so um, I have thought of a way to be able to do that. I tested it out and it is amazing. So um, I thought I would show you guys what I did to make it into a strawberry cake. Just kind of like, you know, a regular like strawberry box cake. Um, nothing fancy, nothing, you know, crazy. So um, the ingredients I'm going to need, obviously the Birchbenders Classic Yellow Cake Mix. Um, I have the Birchbenders Keto Vanilla Frosting. And then the um, ingredients I need are eggs and I will be using butter flavored coconut oil. That is what I use for most baking products, especially in the summertime when it's already liquid <laughs> and it's super easy to work with. So, um, and then also I have some strawberries that I have um, added some of the Swerve Granular Sweetener to. Um, and the, the liquid that that forms, this has been sitting for overnight. Um, and the liquid that that forms, I'm going to be using as an ingredient in the recipe. So let me get started with putting um, the cake mix together. All right, so I just followed the directions uh, like normal. It says three large eggs, a third a cup of oil, and a half a cup of water. So instead of doing the water, just plain water, I did a half a cup of the juice that I got from the strawberries into the mix. Um, so I'm just going to put that in the pan. I have the oven preheated to 350 and it's saying it should take approximately 30 minutes or so. So let me go ahead and pop that in the oven and then I'll show you what I did with the frosting. Okay, so uh, the cake has finished baking. Um, it was uh, 3.50 for, I think it took about 35 minutes. Um, so now I'm just letting that cool off. And I just thought I'd show you guys um, what I was doing with the frosting, which um, I have the Birchbenders Keto Vanilla Frosting. And all I've been doing is just um, adding some of the juice from the, um, I want to call them sugared strawberries, but I used um, Swerve Sweetener with them. Um, you can use Allulose also. Um, I use Allulose a lot, and I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but yeah, I just, I just kept adding the, um, the juice from the strawberries into the frosting until it got um, enough of like a strawberry flavor going on. So now I'm just waiting for the cake to finish cooling off and then I will put the frosting on there and show you the final product. All right, so I just got done frosting the cake. So here we have the final product. I'm not sure if it's picking up how pink the frosting is, but it is actually pretty pink. Um, and I definitely, I didn't really measure how much of the strawberry juice I was putting in, 
Um, I just kind of kept going until it achieved like a nice pink color. And yeah, it definitely satisfies that strawberry cake freight, uh, <laughs> craving that um, I always have every birthday. So um, definitely comment down below if you guys um, end up trying out this or um, let me know if you have any other cake flavors that are maybe your favorite for your birthdays. Uh, but as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And please make sure to hit the bell notification so you are notified whenever I upload more videos just like these. <laughs> Alright, thanks so much, guys. Have a great one.